Hello guys, welcome back to another part of the Walking Dead Telltale series, Season 2. Uh, first part, I've got to say, I am so, so happy to be playing this game again. I loved Season 1, and I'm loving Season 2. It was such... I mean this in the best way, it's a depressing game. It's a really depressing game, but it's the thing... It makes you... Because uh, you're playing as Clementine, you're playing as Lee, like, they had so much stuff happen to them. It made you feel for them. And when a certain character dies or something bad happens, it makes you feel that. And I like, even having to kill a dog, anyone who has to kill a dog in it or an animal in a game, you know you always feel it. But then losing Krista, Omar, Omar, so whatever his name is, Omar, that's his name, Omar. Right at the start, like we knew we he was with us in the first game and we saved him as well in the last game and then he just gets shot. It's like you already have him attached to certain characters and then within the first part or well, the first part of the series for here, three we had to kill three times. Well we had to kill the dog, we lost Krista, we don't know if she's still alive, and then Omar he died. So much stuff happened. We did get picked up by some uh, strangers, so I'm wondering whether they're actually good or bad. But either way, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you are liking the series so far, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Without further ado, let's get back into Season 2 of The Walking Dead Telltale Series. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would. You don't want to do something you're going to regret. Better to be sure, right? Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. We could take her if it comes to that. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns, and we can deal with it. <sighs> so, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, 
We can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. But we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Always got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. My arm really hurts. I don't know what to tell you except hold out the best you can. We'll see what we can do in the morning. If I make it until then, maybe you could get me some supplies? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. It's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Bloody hell, she didn't half get done over, did she? Like, <laughs> um, bites. Search place. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. I think. Oh, I meant to press the hammer, not the hand, but okay. Doctor. 
doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. Okay, so we're ninjuring our way into uh, find our way into the cavern, obtain an evil needle, pre oxide and some bandages. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. I feel like he'll um, give me up. Of course. So there's no way of getting through there. Let's try down here. Ooh. Something here. Firewood. I don't even know what that other word was. House meeting in five minutes. Best. Let's do it. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this.
Okay, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stealing stuff. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Check the other bedrooms. I think you have to check out the whole floor. Okay, it's just these three. Shh. You're not supposed to be in here. Please help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurt. Take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with. And I need a needle with thread to sew it up. Do you know where those things are? My dad has some stuff for cleaning with the supplies. Kind of burns. I don't know if he has stuff for sewing, though. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be so If I help you, will you leave me alone? I don't want to get in trouble. I'll get the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. I don't I didn't know the right answer because I don't know how this is gonna go, I so I thought say nothing's the best. That'll work. You can't do it here though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. You still need a needle. Medicine cabinet. Woohoo! It's clean. I guess that's all I need. I better get out of here. Sneaky. Let me in some time. <laughs> need to have this baby. <laughs> Let it be okay. Let it be his.
Oh, that's job done. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky Clementine. the pain let's go oh no oh dear why are you making me do it oh oh no I can feel the pain okay okay I'm good I'm fine now the fun part Oh dear. Don't you lie to yourself, Clement Time. This is not going to be fun. No. Just like last time. Just how Krista showed me. Oh, no. God, kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just get it over. girl last one let's go let's go let's get this. oh that's gotta be the last one in it come on oh god I don't even think I could do something like that. Ah, Jesus Christ, kids.
God! Holy shit! What? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn look is sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Their suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. You don't have to threaten me. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure. You are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah.
I feel like I feel like these guys are all right. I feel like we're just a bit paranoid. We don't seem like bad guys. So, apart from the doctor, he seems like a dick. Pretty much on your own. What's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What? happened to him. The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a you mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. Wow, I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. Clementine's got a bit of sense. You got what you came here for. Now go. What's she been so so much like a bitch for? Like, literally, it's just a little girl who's like literally got no one and they're just willing to chuck her out. Like, seriously, what the hell? Okay, uh, I'm not too sure how long we've been recording, but um, I'm going to leave this part here, guys, and we'll pick it up in it. I'm sort of trying to keep the episode sort of chapters, so every time we do one big thing and, and change scenery and stuff, we, we obviously I'll, they'll be probably 15 to 20 minutes long or more, depending on what's happening, if it's a big thing what's happening. But um, hope you've enjoyed. We'll be back with another part of the Walking Dead Telltale series very, very, very soon. I'm going to be smashing this game out, guys. And excitingly enough, I want to do 
all the seasons because I think there's about four or five. I think I want to do them all. So um, show the series some love, and I will definitely be releasing it very very soon. And also I'll get the other games very very soon as well. So maybe I'll just binge them and get them done. So we have a whole Telltale series, Morking Dead. And if you want me to cover any other Telltale series, uh, like there's a Batman one. I've actually got that game, so if you want me to do that, let me know down in the comments. And I think there's a Guardians of the Galaxy one as well. Um, I'll have to have a look and see which ones, other ones they are. But I am really intrigued with this game. I love the characters. Um, certain characters the new group were with, a bit iffy on because they're being a bit weird. Uh, I don't know if they've got something to hide, like the Doctor, he seems like a dick. And the lady who's pregnant, she seems very... Obviously, I don't know if it's just because she's pregnant, she's sort of suspicious, but... I thought I'd just give Compton a bit of sass and stand up for herself, and she did. So, um, ho we'll see where it goes from here. Hopefully, hopefully I'm making the right choices. Let me know down below if you would choose to do anything else, and would you rather Compton just be a really, really hard case? Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time, and bye-bye.